Greetings, this is the DICE project for our senior design class. Our group consists of Calvin Serratos, Melvin Serratos as kind of our computer engineering, Rodolfo Gutierrez as our electrical engineer. So the point of this project is to work with Professor Saul in the gaming building, and our objective is to innovate the casino craps game. How it works basically is to implement LED and accelerometer into the DICE so it can further out possibilities in the gaming field. So our components are used in this project is the dice, LEDs, and our microcontroller zero and zero. So for the dice, there are several rules in the standard casino that we have to follow. Mentioned here, there are 10 rules um, just for clarif for simplicity, it has to be 19 by 19 millimeters. It has to be transparent, 9 degrees all around, equal weight distribution, and the number placement has to be on a specific side in the standard casino. For the LEDs, we're using the RGB LEDs. It consists of 3.3 volts, 20 milliamps and 5 by 5 by 8 in height millimeter. Our microcontroller is a development board. Um, this is just for prototyping purposes. It consists of 3.3 volts, 20 milliamps, 16 I.O. pins, 2 channels, and the size is 20 by 20 mil 25 by 20 millimeters. And our accelerometer is the ADX L345. This is an embedded system microcontroller. It does have C and C++ encoded in it, so we could use packaging, packages and, and libraries within it. Uh, just to further our features, if you want to just go on the website wikiseek.xm0, this is the board that we'll be using for testing purposes. So for a schematic, this is our board itself. We are going to use GPI, uh, open GPIO pins so we can work with the LEDs. But if we do choose so, we do have capabilities of doing two SPIs, one I2C and one UART. If we want to further our, and one analog for our project. So some equations is the center of gravity. Uh, like I said, mentioned before, in the stems of the casino, it has to be in circuit. Uh, the circuitry has to be in perfect symmetry. We have to balance LEDs and find the center of mass of everything, so it will have equal weight distribution. The thermodynamics is the heat, the circuit can only for the heat dissipation it can only be in 20 to 70 degrees Celsius. Higher or below than that will cause problems. Might even short circuit or burn out some the boards. So problems that we faced so far is the sizing. Since the standard is 19 by 19, our battery and the microcontroller is slightly bigger than the dice. <clears throat> the heat, obviously mentioned before. We also have to find a, a suitable person. We do have a suitable person actually to do the molding. Um, it's just not in our field. This is more towards the mechanical engineering, so we, we will have someone help us out when it comes to the molding part. For battery, we have two options. One rechargeable, which we don't know how to do as of right yet. The other one is disposable batteries, but it has to have batteries that can last throughout the whole day. So if, if we have more time, this is the second part of our DICE project. Um, the goal of this is to output the DICE onto the screen in cloud. And basically how it works is just using the light sensor to detect the light that the DICE was rolled in, transfer that to the Mac controller, uh, possibly the BeagleBone, and then go to Wi-Fi or the monitor itself to show what was rolled. So in conclusion, um, we are still in the prototyping phase. We're just testing 
theories out and schematic designs and com having our components. But w later we will customize our PCB when ready and um, hopefully all this will work out. Thank you for your time.